All right, what you witnessed there, and welcome to the hot and spicy. How are you doing? Was um, just a bit of a behind the scenes of making this uh, chicken uh, thighs were made in the halogen oven in room temperature, in as they were, about 45 50 minutes, 200 degrees C. Didn't touch them, left them as they were. They're ready. Then chorizo sausage, um, garlic butter, mayonnaise, tomato ketchup, and fried onions for the hot dog, chorizo hot dog. And the burger is a double, is a triple, is it? Triple chili Welsh beef burger. Um, garlic butter on the bread, on the bun. Then the, but you should have lettuce and all that, but I didn't bother with that. Then you have the burger. I'm, I'm not a rabbit. <laughs> then you have the burger. Then you have the cheese called Mexicana, which is a chili hot cheese. Um, then onion, raw onion, because I like it strong. Um, Ketchup, mayo, tomato, and put the lid on. And to wash it down, Welsh pride. Thank you very much. I'm going to try um, a couple of hot sauces today. Cold this is. Some people, oh, you should have it room temperature. Not a chance. <sighs> Beautiful. Well, he made up the road, this. Gwyn Thomas, head brewer. In Conway Brewery. Conway Brewery, right. What should we stick into first? Dig into it, so let's have a bite of this. Look at that. Look at that bugger. <laughs> Mouth's big enough. <laughs> Here we go. The only reason I'm doing this, was, oh, that's nice. I was going to have a barbecue. Cloudy and rainy. So I had to make a decision. When I made the decision, I thought I'll have to stay in. The bleeding sun came out then, didn't it? <laughs> Not to worry. Tesco was selling their finest range triple chilli burgers. Good. I'm yet to season. And I put hot um, cheese on it. Mm. Wow. And that's what they look like, the chicken. With a coating of peri peri, that is. Mm. Holy. Wow, that's nice. I like a raw onion on a burger. Um, some say it's too too strong. No, I love it. There is no um, heat in that burger. Beautiful taste, though. Wow. But to be fair. Most people's heat is not mine, is it? A bit funny like that I am. <laughs> so maybe to... But the thing is, I've had a day. In terms of if you're from the UK, Mexicana. Oh, beautiful. That is a good burger. Right, there's a hot dog. But what we're going to do first, 
is we're going to try do you remember this pack of sauces that was kindly sent I'm going to try we'll try Nelson's ghost first give him a try Nelson's ghost give that a go oh it's a thin one Norfolk heat waves this is. Let's try this. Hang on, let me try it with it on its own first. So, that's nice. So, can I highly recommend cook the chicken last minute when it's hot, coat it. Peri peri, beautiful. Wow. Not hot. It's just a nice taste. Anyway, let's try a bit of this. Very, very thin. Ooh, it's a bit um this isn't a dipping sauce, is it? Wow. Oh, that's a nice sauce. The only thing is, I don't like it like water. It's too thin. Norfolk. Heat was too thin. Wow, it's a nice sauce though, that. Just a little tingle for me there. That is nice. I'll use, I think I'll have to use this in cooking. It's a bit too thin, but um, it's a beautiful sauce. Oh, that is a nice tingle. Right, we'll go now. It might be just that one, that's thin, is it? Oh, it's a, looks a bit thick. Ah, that might be better. This one is the Trinidad Scorpion. Very kindly sent these. Oh, nice. Here we go. Is this a bit better? Ah, oh, that's a bit better. Because I give that a good shake. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Wow. And it's prop. It's not. Um, some sauces taste. How can I say? Extract chemically enhanced, but these taste naturally heat hot. If that makes sense. That's well. It would be that slightly hotter than the Nelson's Ghost. That's lovely. Mmm, good kitchen. Heat straight away. It's there. Still tingling now, but it soon reduces. Really nice. That's that one. Nice range of sauces, actually. The taste is making up for how thin that other one was. Well, this is another thin one, isn't it? This is the. Carolina Reaper, mm. world's hottest chili. The Cal <laughs> Excuse me, I'm am I'm amazed. I remember to take the protective things off. Let's go the other side here. So, excuse me while I get hold of it. It's falling off the bone, actually. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Mm. 
Mm. Wow. Taste the Reaper straight away. A unique taste. But it had an. Oh, it's got a lovely. Um, how can I put it? Like a, mm, like a sweetness. Heat's there now. That is nice. Wow. Very impressed. This is their hottest three sources. Norfolk Heatwave. If you're from Norfolk, have a look. Have I forgot my... I keep doing this, forget my um, towel. So I have to use this thing. Because it's rather warm. In temperature, I mean. That's nice. See, now that's tingling. That's tingling for me now. Just It's just... Oh, it's beautiful. And the taste. Because sometimes these Carolina Reaper can bang. Reap and you almost sometimes want to cough. But that was, it went in. Reaper taste straight away. It's a unique taste. A slight sweetness to it. Um, to my palate. And then it starts. Then it's now, now it's at its beautiful peak. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, that's nice. Carolina Reaper. As I say, they were very kindly sent to me. And I said I'd try them with some chicken. And I'm glad I have done. Keep them back in their box for a minute. This is so well cooked. It's coming off the bone. That's how you cook chicken. So we up to the weekend. Anything much? Mm. Wow. Mm. The tingle from that reaper. Oh. So they do gradually. Nelson's Ghost down here, beautiful taste, bit of a kick, too thin for me that, don't know why, but the taste made up for it, the Naga, the, Naga, the Scorpion, what was it, Trinidad Scorpion, Naga on the brain, slightly up again, a lovely taste again, heats there, and then reduces, and then the Reaper, bang with the taste, heats, not straight away, and then it builds up to a peak, and then very nice. So, oh, skin. Oh, and then um, after this Welsh Pride Ale, which is four point three percent. I'm on this stuff this week. Carlsberg Pilsner. Now I don't usually like a Pilsner. Uh, lager wise. But this. Because Carlsberg usually quite a. Well it can be sort of gassy. A very crisp drink. Nice. But this. The Pilsner version. Is more towards the Carlin. It's a softer. If you know what I mean. It makes it softer. Uh, still nice. Um, so uh, I was on good offer, eleven pound for eighteen of these. What's this one? It's three point eight percent. So that is lovely. Um, seven chilies now. I've taken all the leaves off. Don't know if I've told you. The aphids. Did I tell you last week? I think maybe. The aphids came back. So seven chilies now, more or less on their own, doing very well. Really pleased. That's a couple of big ones there too. Um, tomatoes, 
uh, just the same really there a few more flowers on it um, so I'm just waiting for the first fruit to start once there's about two fruit on each plant I'll start feeding them once a week then um, I'm feeding the chili with this special feed I had from the chili shop in Biomaris which has a high um, seaweed content or something potassium is it or something in it which chilies love and uh, yeah it's working really nice hot dog time yeah hot dog time let's give it a go chorizo sausage Spanish chorizo let's have a look Ooh. every time I eat fried onion like this always reminds me of the fun fair <laughs> used to come to town a couple of times a year hmm. there's an American circus comes to near Rill by Sainsbury's that comes once or twice a year huge tent with the American colours flag and then um, even the American trucks pulling the you know the big lorries yeah so that's what it looks like inside here we go to the sausage yeah wow ketchup now now chorizo is not hot but um that's nice very impressed with this from Tesco new line um, scorpion pepper and passion I did last week and um, that's a gorgeous put some of this hot dog it's a gorgeous uh, gorgeous sauce uh, a bit of a kick to it won't blow your head off well <laughs> it doesn't blow my head off I should say I shouldn't say that because some people might say oh I'll get it then More sauces now than the shops. And I'm running out of room to put them in, in the fridge. Oh, that's nice. What else is there to tell you? Um, nothing else, I don't think. Oh, dinner tomorrow is going to be well. <laughs> I'm in two minds. I don't know whether I've got. I've got everything in for a roast pork. I bought a crackling joint um, which is pork with a skin on um, which I love crackling obviously so roast pork if I do that um, I got Pembrokeshire, new potatoes uh, cauliflower, broccoli and um, what have we got? Lashentos of gravy of course homemade gravy but I may do a barbie as well I don't know yet let me see how, we, see how the weather and see how I feel. See, see how it goes. And uh, I got plenty. I've got um, a case of Carlin downstairs, but I've got a few of these Carlins, uh, Carlsbergs left. I've had that. Um, I've had this now. That's nice. Nice change. And um, Conway Brewery. And I've got some Scrumpy Jack. Tins of cider, I love that stuff. All scrumpy, look at that, nice, you know, coloured, um, quite misty. There's quite a, I had a bit of a citrusy taste then. That's nice, very nice. Not too hoppy, not happy, hoppy. Uh, um, 
Oh, something else I'm going to say. You know, it's got on my head. Got on my head. So, let's finish this off now. Beef burger. Success. Hot dog. For me, success. And these. I mean, come on. Could you get stuck into that now? That coating is fantastic. Oh wow! Holy sugar! This is all then. You get it. I'm sorry if I'm covered in all sorts of stuff. You get that um, coating is Schwartz Piri Piri um, coating powder in a sachet. Cook your chicken as normal. And when it's ready, out the oven, in a bowl, when it's hot, coat it and toss it round like you've seen in the bowl. And put a bit more if you need it, toss it on again, chuck some sea salt in there. Oh. But if you like a thicker one, and it'll say it on the packet, if you like a sticky sauce for your chicken, just add some water to the powder. You know, in the bowl, just add some water and toss it around, it'll thicken up and cover and... <laughs> right, I'll leave you to it. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. If you're having anything, if you go out, if you've been out, whatever, enjoy it. Whether it's a spicy curry, something hot, whatever. Barbie, maybe. <laughs> Um, have a safe weekend, have a great weekend, and I'll see you, well, in the next video, which may be tomorrow, which may be tomorrow, you never know, all the best, and I'll see you, yeah, in the next one, take care, good time, actually.